Hi guys, it's Pink Vision Tara here, and I'm doing a reading for Virgo for September 2020. So it's a general reading, take what resonates, leave the rest. Thanks for subscribing, and remember, um, the energies can be vice versa, or the energies can be people around you, basically. And they can be things that have happened in the past, but there's obviously a message that you need to know now. So Virgo, Virgo, what do you need to know for September? The Hermit. Wow. I just got a feeling like, let me light the way. Like you're going to be shown a new path. A lot of reflection, a lot of thinking, a lot of, um, I think, looking back. But now it's time to move forward. But someone's going to show you something. Someone's going to light a path for you or um, lead you in a new direction. You're going in a new direction. Ten Pentacles. Financial stability, so there could be a windfall coming Virgo this month, which or September, which would be amazing. Um, Ten of Pentacles is about family money, it's about inheritance, legacy, um, you know, insurance, life insurance. But it's almost like maybe you're, you know, with the Hermit card, maybe you're walking away from the family a little bit to forge your own life, or maybe the family have offered you money and you're like, no, I want to do it on my own, you know, I sort of get that energy. I mean, they're there for you, but you want to do things on your own. You want more independence. Queen of Pentacles, you want more independence. And look at that. That's, there's nothing more independent than um, the Queen of Pentacles. She's often single and she's financially secure. So I think that that's, you know, what the energy is, Virgo. Just you wanting to be financially secure but you want to know that you're financially secure because you worked hard for it not because it's been just gifted to you you know the fall so a new journey a new beginning new ideas maybe this is a business that you want to get off the ground and um and you you know want to do it on your own i think that's amazing a leap of faith on both sides look at that they're both looking in the same direction can you see that the Queen of Pentacles is looking forward because that's where she wants to go. But, you know, these cards are both looking in one direction. Four of Cups. I think you no longer feel that you need to rely on other people or something else to um, give you um, fulfillment. I think you finally have worked it out. Because, you know, the Four of Cups. Did I say Pentacles? I'm not sure. The Four of Cups, you know, is often someone looking at, at what's lost, not realizing, you know, God's or the universe, whatever you want to call it, source is offering you this cup and it's full of gold or, you know, liquid gold, you know, but you, you don't always see it. But I think you see it now. You, you get it. You, you've been able to visualize it and you know it's real. Your vision board is manifesting, you know. Six of Pentacles reverse. So the Six of Pentacles is another card about family money. And it's about often balance and being able to be generous. It's reverse. So maybe this money that was offered from the family has a catch to it. You know, I'll give you this, but I basically have to know everything. I need to be involved. You know, there could be a catch with the money that was offered to you from the family. So you don't want to take it. And I sort of get that. You want to be independent. You don't want to have to pay back someone or constantly get permission from someone to do something if, you know, it's your business. And Because that's what I feel, you know. So the King of Wands, just below the Queen of Pentacles, this could be a business partner that's not family that, um, or a husband or a partner or someone that's passionate, just as passionate, about what they want to do as you and maybe this is what you need you need a business partner maybe this person's a person can balance out and do something within this business that you um aren't as good at you know you might be good at money but they're good at ideas or they're good at that sort of um sort of um what's the word for it? the action it's an action card you know the king of wands seven seven of pentacles there's going to be hard work 
that's the apprenticeship card but I think there's a lot of money to be made and this business is going to be successful seven of pentacles is you know putting in the hard work starting from the bottom now you're here don't want to quote Drake but started from the bottom now we're here wow the emperor success success is nothing better than the emperor upright of course so um it could be a father figure this is why it's sort of underneath these cards um this could be a father figure offering you money the cards upright so it's genuine you know there's a, you know this person is successful so taking this person's advice would probably be a good idea you might not want to take their money but you should take their advice three of swords I haven't seen this card for a while which is really good um three of swords can be a third party situation this to me there's no love in this this is all about action it's about movement it's about work um three of swords by the emperor could be a situation where someone isn't feeling that well two of pentacles balance sorry about that noise guys so the two of pentacles it's about making a decision <clears throat> sorry that noise is distracting um the three of swords let's go back to this um it could be a third party situation so it could be someone just interfering and you know they need to mind their own business i don't think it's about um love as i said it could be someone that isn't that well maybe a father figure has some um, heart issues and that might need to be addressed often with these father figures i just get an energy that you know they don't always tell you that something's going on when there is because they like to hide you know they like to be um they don't want to burden you so on a side message you know a father figure might have some problems with their heart they might need surgery there might be some valves that are blocked um so i almost feel that's a side issue so the two of pentacles it's making a decision which way to go you know take this advice or this money or do it on your own or get a loan from the bank and just do it that way and i think that that's what you'll do just do a few side cards king of swords reversed that's a pretty ruthless energy um mm. heavy energy on the side because this is really good it's about you wanting to um manifest abundance manifest money manifest wealth but independently manifest it so maybe this is someone you know that's it could be an air sign that's doesn't want to see that hangman reverse yes someone doesn't want to see you succeed judgment reversed judgment to me is a um can be a card of medical events too so this could be related back to this our older this person this emperor um reverse someone might not be telling you yeah i feel like maybe someone on a side note as you're working through your career or working building yourself on a side note i don't know if someone's that well I don't think someone's that well um, Virgo and it could be a father figure or a grandfather or, or a male figure that's not actually telling people what's really going on they might need surgery or and they might need some time out to recover I just don't think they're telling they're not telling you what's going on so just to crown it the four of Pentacles reverse so you've got two cards two fours that are reversed so the four of pentacles is the miser card holding on to something for dear life holding on holding on to an idea holding on to money something you know solid but it's reversed so i think it's just you're ready and you might have actually been ready a while a while ago but then COVID hit and it's like oh everything has to go on hold and this father might say well you know you need my help now but i think you can still do it on your own i think you can still do it on your own otherwise you know there is an, an like an inheritance coming in that will be able to um, light the way for you an inheritance or money coming in that's going to absolutely benefit you um, in such a big way like it'll be life-changing and it doesn't even have to be a lot but it'll just get you on your feet you know so there could be an, an inheritance coming in 
or an offer of money to help you with a business, but I think you're going to do your own thing. Whatever it is, um, this family member that's left it to you wants you to have it. Um, you deserve it. It's family money. It's legacy. So Virgo, uh, big money, big talks about money this month. So good luck with that. But um, yeah, on a side note, you know, someone might not be that well and they're just not being honest about it. So I hope that isn't the case. But if it is, you know, maybe you need to have a, a chat to someone and say, hey, you know, is everything okay? Thanks, Virgo.